57 years as yeah. a single man. Yeah. Uh, what's the most profound way your life has changed uh, since you tied the knot? <laughs> well, it's, it, that's very nice, but uh, I think the bigger change was having children, actually. I do sometimes think uh, that helped me act, acting-wise because uh, there's just suddenly all this love around and it, uh, you know for a repressed Englishman it's quite it, it helps you access your emotions better I'm, I'm full of emotion now. I cry reading them bedtime stories isn't that, isn't yes, that well, some bedtime stories stick man absolutely slays me you actually said in a recent interview that being a dad is the best thing that that ever has ever happened to you why is that well that sounds like a terrible old cliche uh, <laughs> which it is but um, I mean, it is true, isn't it? It's, uh, it's just very, it's one of those things you don't know you need it till you've got it. I interview Hoda and Savannah Guthrie, Hoda Copy and Savannah Guthrie all the time. And they talk about becoming a parent at this stage in their life, actually in, in their 50s and, and mid 40s respectively. Do you think that that changes perspective when, when that's the age that it happens? Maybe. I've been re reading Richard Dawkins' books, you know, The Selfish Gene and all that, and you, then you realize, well, my gene, uh, genes, anyone's genes, mine or an oak tree's, all they want to do, that the uh, one purpose they want is to reproduce. And uh, we, I think, you know, it's very easy to lose sight of that. This 19 years since Notting Hill, and it was an auction for Red Nose Day where Julia Roberts said that she was going to FaceTime in on a picnic you were having with a lucky fan, and she was going to tell your secrets. She said, she promised, <laughs> I'm going to tell all Hugh Grant's secrets. <laughs> so on the flip side, I don't know if she did that or not, or if it happened, but can you please tell us a secret about Julia Roberts since she threatened to un unleash yours on the world? I didn't know she was going to do that. It hasn't happened yet. And now that she's threatened that, I'm going to cancel the picnic. She's just cost the children of Africa half a million quid. Well done, Julia.